As my trekking guide pointed out, in Nepal there's no need for health clubs or gyms. The people get their exercise quite naturally, especially in the fall when it's time to harvest the rice crop. As the fields turn golden, families gather together in small plots. Some of the family members cut the stalks with small handheld tools that have curved blades. Others take the stalks, lie them out in rows to dry, usually for a day or two. And once they're dry, they're beaten against uh, wooden tables, sometimes uh, metal cages, to remove the rice grains from the stalks. Nothing goes to waste. Even the remaining stalks are bundled up and taken away as forage for the livestock. The rice is swept up into piles, covered with tarps to guard against rain until it can be bagged up and taken off for further drying. This happens on tarps that are spread in front of stores, in front of homes. Uh, even the roadways are used to dry the rice for about a month. You see this all over the country. The rice grains are then winnowed, sometimes by shaking in a wicker pan by hand, but more often in front of a fan, the theory being that the dirt gets blown away and the rice grains end up on the ground. And as the barren rice stalks are carted away, the stubble in the fields is set afire, and the cycle begins anew, with villagers preparing the fields for yet another round of crops, this time potatoes.